Rockies taking on the Braves at Coors Field. Bottom one, three nothing Colorado. Looking to add more. Dexter Fowler with two on two out. The two run hit brings home Todd Helton and Michael Kadire, and it's five nothing Rockies. Top of the third, Freddie Freeman cuts into the lead. The two run shot, his fifth of the year, makes it five two Rockies. Top five, two on, one out. Now five three Colorado. Brian McCann. The two-run hit that brings in Chipper Jones and Freddie Freeman, and the game is tied at five to the top of the six. Now game tied at six, Chipper Jones at the plate. Chipper drives one deep left. Cargo going back. That ball is a goner on an 0-2 count. Give that man a day off, and look what happens. He scored three times. He's knocked in two, and the Braves back in front on Chipper's fifth home run of the year. Braves take a 7-6 lead, but the Rockies would later tie it at 7 and have a chance to win it in the bottom of the ninth. Two on, two out. Todd Helton would go down swinging to force the game into extra innings. Top of the 10th, two on, nobody out. Freeman looking to drive home or run lines it, but what a play by Helton for the diving catch. Prevents the Braves from taking the lead. They would fail to score in the frame. So we're still tied at 7, heading to the top of the 11th, and Eric Hinsky at the plate facing Edgemer Escalona. High fly ball, deep right center. Fowler back at the wall. It's gone! His fourth hit of the night. And man, does he stay hot. So it's 9-7 Braves, bottom 11. Now 9-8 Atlanta. Craig Kimbrell gets Michael Kadire with the tying run on base to ground down to short. That ends it. Braves win 9-8. Jones, 3 for 5, a home run, 3 runs, 2 RBIs. Helton, 2 for 6, 2 runs, 3 runs batted in as Kimbrell gets his ninth save of the season.